Hey friends, what is up? Welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday video. I'm going to be taking you guys through everything that I'm currently eating on the Whole30 diet. I am currently on day 14 of this diet and I thought that it would be awesome to take you guys through what I'm eating as well as toss in a really special Whole30 approved dessert menu so you do not want to miss the recipe that I throw you guys for that. Let's get it on into the video. Good morning guys and this is my coffee this morning I just have a Starbucks pod in here and today I am using the two times caffeine just the medium roast this stuff has been really good I actually like it I am on day 12 of full 30 so I am kind of used now to not having any sweetener in my coffee typically I would add like some stevia or you know something like that but I've just been using these nut pods I did get these on Amazon I'll have them linked down below for you guys I have not been able to find them anywhere in store um, but I love this and also I have been adding in about a tablespoon of this regular just coconut milk in a, from a can and I just keep it stored in a glass container in my fridge it thickens up and it's a really nice consistency so I feel like it gives my coffee a little bit of creaminess but I've already went ahead and whisked this all together and this is my coffee it's got a nice little foamy top there and I'm gonna go ahead and drink this the time right now is 8 50 a.m. I just woke up I'm gonna drink this and then I'll probably get a workout in and then I'll eat breakfast so I'll show you guys what we have later all right so I just got my workout in and I don't know after I work out I feel like I don't have much of an appetite but I know that I need to eat something so I'm gonna eat a banana not gonna lie I have really been enjoying bananas on the whole 30 because as someone coming from the keto diet where bananas are like strictly per forbidden because of the high carb count I've just been really enjoying these so I'm gonna have one of these I'm gonna go and get dressed and then maybe when I come back I'll have something it's 11 14 right now so I know I should have eaten by now because this is not like a fasting type diet or lifestyle at by any means I am just so accustomed to like my fasting eating period even on day 12 it's been really hard for me to get out of wanting to fast or like eating between like a certain eating window so gonna eat this and I'll catch you guys at the next meal okay so it is so late I got on live um, but I'm making up some of this uncured cut center cut no sugar bacon and it's just three pieces I'm gonna make that and I'm also going to cut up some veggies and make like a little egg omelet it's I'm embarrassed it's two o'clock right now you guys I definitely don't recommend doing this but this is where my day is so I'm giving you guys a full look at what I'm eating today so it is very important on the Whole30 diet to get in a ton of vegetables and I really like utilizing this when I am making breakfast or my first meal of the day. It's super easy when preparing eggs to throw in as many vegetables as possible. So I like to do things like bell pepper, onion, mushrooms, and especially spinach. It just gives me a ton of extra vitamins and I definitely do recommend seasoning your food guys, making sure that you're taking that extra time to just give it nice flavor. It'll make you happier to eat, I promise. Okay, so here is the breakfast. This is like a huge meal, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat all of it. And I did top Mommy. it with some salsa and with some guacamole. So um, I had that with some berries and some bacon. Okay, so I'm about to have a snack. I just got some of these blue diamond almonds and then I am going to be having one of my date cookies. If the recipe is not already out, it will be in the next few days. So make sure you're subscribed. And if I've already posted that video with the recipe to these cookies, I'll have them linked up in the cards for you guys. This is so delicious and it really helps me with my little sweets fix. It is that time of month. So this is the perfect snack for me. 
For dinner today, I decided to have an item that is actually in the Whole30 book. And if you're not familiar with this book, I'll have it linked down below in the description box for you guys. But it is a book that I picked up in order to learn about the Whole30 diet. So I really wanted to make this cold Thai salad, but it required some sunshine sauce. So definitely I will have this entire recipe link down below for you guys, but it's basically sunflower butter, coconut milk, the juice of one entire lime. You're also going to be using some red pepper flakes, some rice wine vinegar, some coconut aminos, and you're going to mix it all together. And this is going to be the sauce base for that cold Thai salad. This is super quick and easy. The sauce is very yummy and it looks like this when it's all done and it stores in your fridge for up to three days. So I really enjoyed making this. Then I broke out all of the vegetables that I'm gonna need for the cold Thai salad part. You're just going to need a cucumber, a zucchini, some, some of those mung bean sprouts, and you're just going to want to peel everything, get all the skin off of there, and then I used this julienne tool to make very thin sliced noodles out of the zucchini and the cucumber, and this is going to serve as the noodles in my salad. So I throw all of those into a bowl there, and then I'm just going to chop up some green onion as well as some carrots, and then I am going to add in something that makes it really nice and tasty. I'm gonna be adding in some cashews to this dish. Don't mind me guys I was also filming a reel for Instagram Which if you're not following me over there make sure you do because I try to film little reels and Quick little videos on different recipes and quick and easy recipes for the busy mom So make sure you're definitely following me over there But I went ahead and smashed up these cashews and chopped them up really nice and fine and I topped those into my salad as well. And once you get everything in your salad, you're just going to add the dressing in there. This specific recipe called for one cup, so I still had one cup of sauce left over. And you're just gonna wanna mix that all together. And this salad is so delicious. It is so yummy. You can eat it by itself, or you can do like what I did for dinner and pair it with a protein of your choice. You guys are not going to regret trying this. It is so good. All right, so here is my salad. I've got the salad there with the chicken thigh on top. I just put this on top of my stove top with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion, and then that is a side of hash brown. So this is my quick little easy dinner. show you a really quick and easy whole 30 dessert it is a three ingredient cookie and it is super delicious super chocolatey and it just hits the spot you're only going to need three ingredients for today's recipe you're going to need some pitted medjool dates and you'll also need some unsalted cashews unsalted almonds will work just as well and the original recipe that I found this from called for almonds, but I found that cashews worked really, really well. And you're going to need some cacao powder, 100% cacao. This is the Hershey's, probably not the best for Whole30, but the only ingredient in here is cacao, which is Whole30 approved. So I'm going to be using this, and I'm also going to be adding in a little secret smidge of an ingredient, so I guess technically you could say this is four ingredients, but let me show you what the fourth little additive is to make these cookies really taste amazing. So this is the no sugar, no salt added almond butter, and this is the Barney Smooth, and I'm going to be adding about a tablespoon or so of this into the mix. So while you're on the Whole30 diet, it is a diet where you are trying to eliminate your need and craving for sugar, but I am definitely someone who lives for a sweet tooth and I feel that if dates and things are Whole30 approved, then why not? Why should I have to suffer and not be able to enjoy a little sweet treat? This is not something that you have to overindulge in and these are not things that you have to eat every single day, but I was 
starting my time of the month and this is the time where it's really hard for me to stay on track so I'm really proud of myself for sticking with this and having a healthier alternative that is Whole30 approved as opposed to completely derailing and I think that that's everything when it comes to trying to adjust your lifestyle or change up your eating habits you want to find that healthy balance so i'm really happy with these cookies i feel like they just hit the nail on the head they really got me through some tough times where i was really craving something sweet but definitely let me know down in the comments what your guys's thoughts are on desserts on the whole 30 or if you have any other recipes that you live and die by make sure to share them with me in the comments because i really do appreciate all y'all's input All right, you guys, so these are my cookies and all I have to do now is just place these into a refrigerator for a few hours once they're nice and cool. I can basically eat them right now. They're no bake, which I absolutely love and they are so delicious. The cashews and that almond butter, phenomenal. All right, you guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you try these cookies, make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think. And also follow me over on Instagram, tag me for sure. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.